and denim, I'm sure it's the night you've all been waiting for. I give you the best man, Paul. Yeah. Thank you. You know, I'd love to stand up here and the first thing to say today is to thank Colin for asking me to be his best man. <coughs> but given that he's not actually asked me yet, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, Colin and Lenore came to visit me in Clare one weekend and uh, went out to the pub. Colin had talked to the toilet and Lenore said, So, you get excited about being our best man? And that was the first I heard of it. <laughs> this Not only had he forgotten to ask me, but when he came back, he'd forgotten that he'd forgotten to ask me. And he thought I'd already agreed. <laughs> However, can I say that I'm very honoured to be your best man, Colin, and it goes without saying, it may be a little bit cliche, but I'm the best man in name only today. Clearly, you're the real best man. Um, it's the first time I've been a best man, and there's a lot I have to learn. I've got some advice, in particular from Graham. We are on the stag dude, and the first thing he said to me, the most important thing is keep the speech short. I wasn't sure how short, so I had to do a wee bit digging on the internet. <coughs> Apparently, my speech should last as long as it takes a groom to make love. Thank you very much. <laughs> January 1966. The 5th of January has been a fairly memorable day throughout the years for several reasons. It was the day that the Yorkshire Ripper was arrested. <laughs> it was also the day that Harold Shipman's first victims were discovered. <laughs> and Collins also had a spare crack at the whip on that front too. Despite having a degree in maths, he managed to get his grams and ounces mixed up and just about killed three of us with a curry. <laughs> I also researched 1966 and unfortunately found nothing of interest that happened that year. <laughs> With one exception. We never stopped hearing about this in Scotland and it was of course the year that the World Cup was stolen and then found by Pickles the Dog. <laughs> it was also the year before Scotland became the unofficial world champions by being England's P2 Wembley. <laughs> I first met Colin in 1993 when we both worked for Standard Life in Edinburgh. When I first arrived there, he worked in the actuarial department and I worked in the pensions department. And at this time, Colin's nickname was God. At first I thought that's because of the prowess that came with being a very clever and intelligent actuary. In actual fact, I soon found out that it was because no one ever saw him. <laughs> he made his own rules. And if he ever did any work, it was a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> Colin, as I'm sure you all know, is Mr. Laidback. He's already mentioned this, but he's so laid back he believes that if something's going to happen, it will happen, and he sees no point in interfering with fate. Thankfully, Seema decided to intervene. <laughs> if it wasn't for that, I'm sure Colin would be married to football and beer. I remember the first time that I met Lenny. Colin and Lenny came up to Scotland for a birthday, and there were six of us going out. It was Claire, Pam and Alan, who can't be here today. And at the last minute Lenny couldn't make it, so Paul stood in and came along instead. I was the only one that had met Paul before, and when Colin uh, met Pam out and Claire, he immediately introduced them as Lenny. Clearly, they got the wrong end of the stick. They were shocked, <laughs> completely speechless, and they fell off their chairs. I wasn't. <laughs> no offence, Paul, you really were at this time. <laughs> we met Lenny later on that night in true Colin Douglas fashion. He'd arranged to take her out to Akele, completely forgot, went out, got steaming, and bumped into her about five hours later in a wee pub in Edinburgh. <laughs> about five minutes after meeting Lenore for the first time, it felt like you'd known her for years. And I think that's testament to just how very lucky you are, Colin. Colin and I are extremely proud Scots, <coughs> and today I'd like to show you a little bit about our Scottish roots, or should I say Colin's Scottish roots. The Scots are well known for being patriotic and brave. The Douglases are one of Scotland's oldest, proudest and bravest families, and it's well documented that they stood beside William Wallace and Robert the Bruce 
in the various battles. In fact, the head of the Douglas family, the Black Douglas, was so brave and so revered that he was personally entrusted to carry Bruce's heart on the Crusades in the 1300s and died protecting it. Colin has inherited quite a lot of that bravery. And part of that is evidenced by the fact that he's chosen to get married in Chester. I don't know if you're aware of this, but it's still lawful in Chester to shoot a Scotsman with a bow and arrow after midnight. <laughs> this is a prop. <laughs> this just to protect them. <laughs> Given this one fairly, that's yours. <laughs> We Scots are also known for our violence and for our fighting prowess. And each family in Scotland has their own tartan. It's a tartan that we all wear with pride. However, on special occasions, eh, as a matter of respect and honour for other people, we are permitted to wear other people's tartans. <coughs> Today, we are all wearing the modern Douglas tartan, which is Colin's family tartan. This tartan, believe it or not, is also the regimental tartan of the Cameronians and now the Scottish Rifle Regiment. These are one of the only few Scottish regiments, regiments who don't actually wear kilts. So these, this tartan has always been used by the Douglases in the true format rather than kilts. And I think that just goes to prove that all the Douglases got skinny legs, sparrow knees, <laughs> and that's why they only wear a kilt. <laughs> We, we Scots are extremely competitive, and again, Colin's no exception. At school we tried just about every sport. First one he took up was rugby, but that never worked out. His tackle was too small. <laughs> <laughs> then it was cross country, couldn't stand the pace. And then it was football, apparently useless in every position. Good luck, Lenny. <laughs> However, on a serious note, he is a sportsman and he has actually represented his country in the sport arena. Table tennis. I don't know if anybody in the room knows this, but Colin was the Scottish school's table tennis champion hey. and has played table tennis for Scotland. That probably explains his fascination with Thailand, given their ping pong interest. <laughs> 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 